Have you guys ever wanted to change from yourself into something else on your live stream? Using Snapchat's application for your desktop called Snap Camera, you can change into anything you want to. For instance, you can change into a cyborg if you would like, maybe even a Viking or something even scarier like this. When you combine the snap camera with a touch portal device or a stream deck, you can create macros to automatically change into characters when things happen on your stream. Not only that, but it comes with a lens studio where you can create your own filters to create your own customized Snapchat filters so you can turn into literally anything you want to once you start creating your own if you guys haven't ever seen the streamer the sushi dragon every time someone subscribes to his channel he has an audio cue that goes off that reminds him to open his mouth so that he can breathe fire he could actually set that up in snapchat so that he doesn't have to listen for the audio cue and instead when someone subscribes all he needs to do is open his mouth and then the audio plays and the animation happens. As a matter of fact, I was just browsing the Sushi Dragon's previous stream for a clip to show you exactly what I was talking about, and I found evidence that he already is using Snap Camera. When he went to transition into this new character during his live stream, I saw the Snap Camera logo pop up for an instant. The Sushi Dragon is definitely the most creative streamer out there right now when it comes to implementing all the plugins available for OBS, adding the most creativity with his alert system and animations that just bring a whole new level of awesomeness to his stream. Him using Snap Camera should be enough push for you to start using this application for yourself to bring a whole new level of creativity and energy to your stream. If you guys do like videos like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. With that being said, we're gonna jump right into the setup of this application. In order to utilize this application, you'll need to go to snapcamera.snapchat.com and download Snap Camera. If you're interested in creating your own filters after using this app, you'll need to go grab the Lens Studio download as well. You can find it at lensstudio.snapchat.com. Both of those links are in the description below. While you're on your browser, you might as well go ahead and check out the francoisstudio.com. It is filled with all kinds of information regarding the content that I create on this YouTube channel. Not only that, but we've built in a marketplace so you can become a vendor and start selling stream overlays, audio files, sound effect files, microphone presets, and other resources that you have created. Once Snap Camera is downloaded, go ahead and open it. You can search for it here in your Windows search search bar. Once you have the snap camera application open, the first thing you'll want to do is go over to the settings and select the webcam that you're going to use. What you'll notice is I have two options here. One is for the capture card that I use for my DSLR camera and then the C920 that I have plugged into my USB port. The reason the camera inputs currently not available is because I was using the webcam over in my OBS software. So let me go ahead and reselect that. Now you'll see that I am on the screen here. I have all my lights off so you can't see me at all. Now that I have my webcam selected, I can start browsing all the lenses that are available on the application here. What you will notice is they have the featured lenses at the top and then they have categories here. These categories end up changing almost every single day. So there might be 30 lenses in one of these categories, but they get cycled out with new ones nearly every day. And below the categories are just community lenses. So you can browse the top community lenses that are available on the app from this window. Another great way to find lenses is by searching for lenses here. If you're looking for something specific like anime, you can type in anime and find yourself an anime lens like this one here. This is actually a lens that I have favorited myself because it's a really neat looking lens that has a uh, pretty cool anime look to it. When you find a lens that you like, you wanna make sure you use the favorite button here, the little star icon on the lens. It's important that you use the star icon because without favoriting the lens, you won't be able to create a hotkey for that lens for it to be activated when you use hotkeys. And it's important that you create hotkeys for the lenses that you like because you really won't be able to use them unless you create hotkeys for those lenses. 
The way you create hotkeys for the lenses that you have favorited is by clicking on the star icon up here and going over to the keyboard icon here. This will bring up a list of all your favorite lenses and you can create a hotkey for each one of those lenses. After you create hotkeys for the lenses that you like, you can go over into Touch Portal and start creating buttons to activate these lenses when you're streaming. For instance, if I wanted to create a hotkey for this lens here, I would go into the lens here. I would create a hotkey for Control Zero. I would save that hotkey. I would open up Touch Portal. In Touch Portal, I would go over to my Twitch page. Sorry, this is a mess. I need to clean it up. And on my Twitch page, I will create a new button. And for that new button, what I will do is create a virtual key press. And that virtual key press will be Control Zero. I will add that button in and then I will change the icon for that button so I know what the icon is. For now, I'll just use this defaulted icon and I will create an icon for it later. Now, if we take a look at my touch portal device, we have the new icon up here. All I'm gonna do is click that button and it activates the lens. When it activates this lens, it will activate on any application that's using the snap camera webcam in the application. When you set up with snap camera, you're setting up your webcam in the app and then the app creates its own virtual webcam that can be used elsewhere. If you take a look at the screen now, you'll notice my webcam is on the screen. And when I activate that lens, the lens is now on that webcam. If we take a look at OBS really quickly, what you'll notice for the webcam, I have selected the snap camera. I do not have the C920 selected. I have the snap camera selected. So like I said, the snap camera is essentially creating a virtual camera on your computer by utilizing your webcam. After you get comfortable with using snap camera for a while, the next step in the creative process is applying vocal changing effects to your mic. If we take a look at the button now, I've made it to where I change into a cyborg and my voice also changes to a robotic cyborg type voice. In future videos, we're gonna take a deeper look at applying vocal changing effects to match the characters that are available within Snap Camera. In order to keep up to date on those videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. While you're at it, go ahead and like this video and ring that notification bell. After taking a deeper look at the vocal changing effects to match the characters, we'll start diving into visual effects and visual Visual changes that happen on the stream to make it even more exciting when you change from yourself into something new. So do yourself a solid and make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you guys need any help with anything stream related, feel free to hop in my Discord server. We've got a pretty awesome community there. Make sure you also stay up to date on what's going on within the Francois studio by following me on Twitter and on Twitch. The links for those are in the description below. Again, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I fudging loved recording it. And stay tuned for some bloopers. Welcome to my party. I'm very happy to have you here. You can find your refreshments over there at the counter. I'll see you over there when I get a chance to talk with you. Did you say something about my eye? You got a problem with the way I look at you? I got a bad case of pink eye. Someone farted directly on my eyeball. You see, I got here on one of them flying, flying developments one of my brothers made. I don't know anything about it, really, but you know what? I'm just an alien with these weird squid-ass hands. I am a banana. I have a banana face. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Francois. It's nice to meet you. I'll catch you next time. See ya.